Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we want to work out the number of working days in each month of 2016. So I've got my list of months, or the first day of each month, in this column A. I've also got a list of bank holidays within that year. We're going to use, first of all, the network days function. That requires a start date and an end date, and it will, oh, and optionally, uh, any holidays and it will calculate the number of working days between those two dates. It assumes you work Monday to Friday. Uh, the end of month function is going to be useful because what that will do is return the end or the last date in each of these months. So let's see how this works. Let's start with network days. My start date is in column A my end date, well, that will be calculated using the end of month function, EO, end of month function. That requires a start date. And then I'm going to type in a zero because we want to calculate the last day of this month. If we put in one, it would be the last day of the following month. If we put in minus one, it would be the last day of the previous month. But we want the current month or this month uh, so the last day of this month to be calculated so I close my bracket and then comma holidays well this is our list of holidays D2 to D9 which we'd need to fix because we're copying down so I press my F4 key for that close the brackets press enter copy down and now I get um, a list of the number of working days in each of those months. Okay, that's all there is to it. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully that's been helpful.